Let's talk about the pontine strokes now. So when we have a pontine stroke, uh, we can remind ourselves again, there were five deep brain strokes, there were four midbrain strokes, and there's going to be three pontine strokes. So once again, let's discuss some anatomy first. So this weird shaped thing here is going to be the fourth ventricle. Uh, behind this is the cerebellum. And then in front of it is going to be the pons. And so for the pons, uh, the most important thing that we're going to draw in here is going to be our paired things that look like eyes. That's going to be our medial long, uh, longitudinal fasciculus, or MLF for short. Uh, we're going to have cranial nerve 6 here uh, with its cranial nerve coming down. And then cranial nerve 7 is technically the nucleus is here and the fibers kind of wrap around, but we're not going to, we're just going to simplify this diagram by drawing cranial nerve 7 more laterally. And so if cranial nerve 7 is more lateral, uh, this is going to be cranial nerve 7. This was 6. And then sort of more here in the anterior portion, we're going to have our corticospinal tracts, which are again the uh, motion tracts. And then sort of here uh, outside, we're going to have our spinothalamic tracts. Uh, the spinothalamic tract does pain and temperature uh, for most of the body. Uh, so when it comes to the stroke syndromes, uh, there are two ventral stroke syndromes. And uh, then there's going to be one that is a medial stroke syndrome. Uh, so the ventral stroke syndrome, uh, the first one that we're going to discuss is going to be Raymond syndrome. And Raymond uh, syndrome is going to be one where you basically knock out cranial nerve 6 and the corticospinal tract. So you get ipsilateral 6 palsy and contralateral, so contralateral uh, hemiparesis. Now, the second ventral uh, syndrome that's worth knowing is the Millard-Gubler syndrome. And Millard-Gubler is, as you can imagine, very similar to this ventral stroke, only now we also knock out cranial nerve 7. So you get ipsilateral 6 and 7 palsy. That will give you a facial droop. Along with contralateral hemiparesis. Now the last one is going to be the medial stroke syndrome, and this is called Fovil's syndrome. And Fovil's syndrome is the one that kind of will be in the medial aspect of the pons. So if we do, uh, if we could sort of knock out the correct area here, uh, it starts here. And so this stroke can honestly knock out all of these things. So basically, uh, you can have uh, an MLF injury, which will create intranuclear ophthalmoplegia. You could have 6 and 7 palsy. Uh, you can also have corticospinal uh, knockout, which will give you contralateral hemiparesis. And because the spinothalamic is knocked out, you can also get some sensory deficits. Uh, once again, just like the midbrain, um, this is a, the pons uh, actually is a vertical uh, structure that has multiple cross sections. This is a highly simplified little schematic just to remind ourselves of the main uh, pontine uh, syndromes and pontine strokes.